Uh, hey everybody, sorry I'm late. Fifteen minutes late, Phil. You missed my opening tangent. Where have you been? I overslept. You have kept our first patient with myasthenia gravis waiting. Uh, yeah, I know. His eyelids are only getting droopier. I'm sorry, it won't happen again. You know the rules for tardiness, Phil. Choose your punishment. Ugh, what are my options? The neurologist can make fun of you for 90 seconds, or you can listen to a rheumatologist discuss his favorite immune cell antibodies for an indeterminate amount of time. Ugh. Ugh. The rheumatologist. Excellent choice. Big fan of CD3. CD4 is great too. I'm partial to CD8 when I'm feeling a bit cytotoxic, if you know what I mean. Oh, come on. And there's CD45, CD38, CD138. Oh, Oh, we can't forget about CD19. Oh, rheumatology, have you heard about enobolizumab? It's an anti-CD19 B-cell antibody that can be used to treat myasthenia gravis. No, please explain in excruciating detail. Please, no. This was a study in the New England Journal of Medicine. Over 200 adults with generalized myasthenia gravis were randomly assigned to receive IV enobolizumab or placebo. The primary endpoint was a change from baseline on the myasthenia gravis activities of daily living scale. What did they find? At 26 weeks, the enobolizumab group had a significantly greater reduction in the ADL score compared to placebo, which indicates improved function. Wow, this could be a great option for patients with myasthenia gravis. Don't you think so, Phil? Yeah, sure. I don't know. You should have picked me, Phil.